I'm Dr. Moni Shabasa. I'm a board certified general and addiction psychiatrist in Orange County, California. Um, I'm here with Casey Howe, um, who is a mindfulness and meditation teacher, um, senior teacher with Insight LA. And we're actually just coming to you kind of impromptu. Um, we're here in our podcasting studio. We do a podcast together called More Happiness, Less Suffering, where we bring together mental health and mindfulness. Um, but this video was really kind of just us coming together last minute um, because so much is happening right now. Um, there's so much fear and anxiety um, around this current uh, situation with the coronavirus um, pandemic. And we really just wanted to come on and see if we could uh, connect with all of you and um, kind of brainstorm some tools and strategies for how we can all just settle our nervous systems down a little bit um, in the midst of a stressful time. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the first things that we could pay attention to is our, our mental hygiene. There's a lot of uh, talk about physical hygiene and what we're doing with our, you know, washing our hands and, and social distancing, which is, which is wonderful. But also looking at what we're putting into um, our, our, our minds and our brains. And, mm -hmm. and uh, this is, of course, I think what we're gonna talk about a lot, which is balance. Mm -hmm. And what we need right now is a, a lot of equanimity, a, a lot of balance. And, and so when we're looking at uh, the media and the information and social media and what we're taking in, this is fantastic that we need to keep on uh, keep on topic with what's happening in the moment. What are the protocols? What are the types of situations that are happening that we need to take uh, take into consideration when we go outside, go to work, and whatnot? And then uh, maybe do a little social media fasting. You know, I think we all know at a certain extent. Okay, this is what's happening today. This is what the protocols are in, in place. And then some social media fasting. This is also a great opportunity to feed the mind with some, some positive resources. So the book that you've been waiting to read, but you didn't get a chance to read, uh, some inspiring YouTube videos, things like this, some, some meditation practices. So mm -hmm. other positive things that, that we can fill up our, our minds with during this time. There's a lot of positive things that are coming out of this uh, situation. Just community building, people uh, looking out for one another, things like this that people are more, more coming together. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of really wonderful things that we could pay attention to as well. Mm -hmm. But I think the self-awareness that this is, this is what I'm taking in and balance that out with a lot of positivity. I was giving a talk yesterday and just talked about smiling, mm -hmm. the, the smiling practice. A lot of it's humdrum right now, yeah. talking to people and oh this and that, but remember if you're alive and you're breathing and you have food in the pantry and you have clothes and all of these things. Um, a roof over your head. A roof <laughs> over your head, the, the simple things. Remember just to smile for mm -hmm. no reason. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting how the mind will uh, gripe and complain and catastrophize for no reason. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Yet if we're positive for no reason, mm -hmm. if we're smiling for no reason, <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then we're yeah, weird. You know, yeah. It's like, yeah, you can go ahead and just be positive and you can smile. Mm -hmm. And and of course, there's a chemical response in the mm -hmm. brain when we're smiling. So it's not just kind of like a positive psychology thing, but there's an actual positive chemical response in the brain when we smile. So this is just one quick little tool of like mm -hmm. mental hygiene. Yeah. What are you actually taking in? And then on a physical level, which we can get to a lot of different tools and resources, but remember, remember to smile mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. to keep up on things like this. Yeah, those are some great points. And I, I think, you know, right now I can just think of how they kind of apply to my life personally. Um, I definitely feel like over the last few days I've had to dramatically decrease my social media and media intake. I think that I normally turn to media and social media as a way to kind of relax and disconnect and then I realized there was this, this shift towards wanting to take in all this news and all this information, but then starting to realize that I was actually getting increasingly stressed, increasingly anxious, and 
there came a certain point where the additional information was not actually informing my decision making or the choices that I was making. And I think that was the point at which I realized I have to, you know, kind of set some dedicated times, like maybe I'll check it in the morning, try not to check it first thing, you know, when I wake up, but maybe check it at some point in the morning and some point in the evening, and then, you know, try to take some breaks in between. And then in between those times, really making a focus to kind of go analog in some ways, like, um, you know, reading an actual book where you can hold the book in your hands and feel the pages turn, you know, or sitting down with a journal and a pen or a pencil and actually writing on the pages. These are kind of activities that help us to feel more grounded um, and more connected to our body, our thoughts, our emotions um, in times of stress. Um, and I completely agree with you about the smiling, you know, it's like that's something that even within this three to six foot distance that we're trying to keep between one another, that's energy that can carry across that distance, right? And, um, and I think, you know, just recognizing, for example, when I was in the grocery store and there is this sense of, you know, panic and fear, um, that just actually making eye contact with one another and, and smiling or exchanging, just kind of that we're sharing this moment together, um, I think is a really powerful tool to just kind of remember that we're all humans in this together, you know, and that's, that's not to actually deny the reality of the situation. That's not to say that we aren't in a time where we have to be cautious and careful and aware of what's going on and, um, you know, respectful of the people who are suffering from this illness and those who are on the front lines, you know, working to, to treat those, those individuals as well. But um, certainly the more that we can all do to collectively stay calm and stay connected, that's gonna help everybody, you know? Um, so I, th I think it comes back to that self-awareness piece that you were talking about is just really, um, as we're slowing down, as we're actually turning more inward, our energy a little bit more inward, as we're staying home a little bit more, really monitoring, you know, like, what is the state of my thoughts right now? What is the state of my emotions right now? And also, what is the state of my body? Because um, sometimes that's the first place we start to be, you know, we start to notice tension in the shoulders or, you know, a tightening in the stomach and, and then just sort of kind of recognizing, okay, this is a place where I can try to cultivate some sense of, of ease um, mm -hmm. because this might not be serving me right now or serving anybody yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, going back to those, uh, you know, what you're, the, the resource you were talking about, like taking a, an analog, a book mm -hmm. or a, a journal or something mm -hmm. like that, and really feeling the pages, mm -hmm. re reminding ourselves that is, reminding ourselves that if we're with one of our senses, then we're mm -hmm. then we're in the present moment. Mm -hmm. We can't uh, taste anything from tomorrow, touch something from yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, the quickest way to come back to the moment is to attach the mind and mindfulness to one of the senses. So, mm -hmm. this is why it's so healing to have something in our hands, mm -hmm. like you're saying that we could you could even smell the pages of the yeah. book, you could feel it turning mm -hmm. and whatnot, because we're here, we're grounded, we're right here. Mm -hmm. You know, coming into the body, coming into the sensations in the body, this is real, coming into something tactile mm -hmm. like this, so. And especially since we're all washing our hands so frequently yeah. right mm -hmm. now, it's a great practice to actually bring that mindfulness of our senses into the act of washing our hands, you know, and to be really present with even just that simple yeah. act, um, you know, that brings us directly into direct contact with the moment that's in the here and now. And I think one of the reasons that's helpful is because so much of the experience of anxiety is future-based, you know, it's, it's um, the fear of, cat you know, catastrophe, you know, things falling apart but there's so much that's unknown about the future and what's gonna happen. We literally don't know, you know, um, and we don't, just like we don't know what's gonna happen five minutes from now, what's gonna happen 10 minutes from now. So, you know, and I think this state of trying to prepare as we should be, you know, trying to prepare some, sometimes keeps us in that present, that future-based thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these, these acts of coming into direct contact with our senses, whether it's through reading, writing, you know, being in contact with nature, 
or even just you know using washing your hands as a mindfulness practice where you're connecting with the feeling of the water, the smell of the soap, the sensation of the temperature. These all bring us back from that future-based anxiety into what is happening right now in this present moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a great technique as well for those of you that know the loving kindness practice, you know the phrases, may I be happy, may I be well, may I feel safe, protected, at ease. These phrases, and you can make up your own phrases when you're washing the dishes, you could open up the heart too, right? Mm -hmm. So may I be happy, may I be free from suffering, mm -hmm. may all those that are suffering, may they be free so you could move into that, that emotion of compassion mm -hmm. and we have to wash our hands anyway, right? So we might as well bring in the heart to this. And again, physiologically, those heart-based practices are very soothing for the body-mind, you know, for the body-mind-spirit, for the heart-mind for all of these things. So when we're bringing that in to our daily life, it's um, very, very soothing. Mm -hmm. And I think right now there is so much, again, talking about the anxiety that we're feeling, the sense of contraction, shutting down, you know, we're feeling that within, we're feeling that without. And I think with those those practices where, where, where we're connecting with that sense of, may I be free from suffering and may, everybody without exception be free from suffering there is such an opening and an expansion mm -hmm. that occurs with that um, that feeling um, and that energy and so it's a it's a helpful counterpoint to all of the the shutting down that we're feeling right now yeah absolutely yeah. And it's a great opportunity to feel more and more connected mm. Again, you talked about the, the contraction energy. Yeah. We go outside, we feel maybe more separate and whatnot because not uh, maybe people are not on the road as much or in public places. But mm -hmm. when you look around and you see that, you realize, oh, we're all together here. Mm -hmm. Like, look at everyone paying attention and we're hearing the same news and things like this. So this is actually caused to open our minds a bit and feel that, connected, that connectedness, mm -hmm. especially when very primal, fears arise mm -hmm. and we're like okay look at we're all trying to be happy more and suffer less yeah. you know we're all contracting a little bit around you know mm -hmm. trying to be protective about mm -hmm. me and mine and, yeah. and all this and it's just very very natural mm -hmm. so we want to end with a, a little meditation practice mm -hmm. just for literally a couple minutes mm -hmm. and I think one of the one of the uh, meditations that we could do that is very portable, like we do this anytime, anywhere, and is very soothing, is just to simply paying attention to the breath at the abdomen, mm. and this brings our energy back to our center. So you think about martial arts and whatnot. We want to feel centered. We don't want to feel like up in the clouds kind of thing. Like if you imagine our being is like we're like a tree. If we have anxiety, we're kind of we kind of feel like we're being blown around by the branches up in, up in the tree and whatnot. So, so coming into the, the belly area is one way that we could feel uh, grounded very easily. And so on the inhalation, and again, if you're driving or something like this, you don't want to do this practice, but you can at least hear it. And then when you're done driving, you can practice it. But on the inhalation, Visualizing the breath moving down into the abdomen, and as you do so, allow the abdomen to expand outward. Holding the breath for a couple seconds to introduce oxygen into the blood, on the exhalation, the abdomen floats back down towards the spine. Inhale, allowing the abdomen to expand out. Holding the breath for a couple seconds, doing all of this at your own pace. You don't need to follow me perfectly. Exhaling, abdomen deflates. Feel free to slow the breath down if you like elongate the breath and also notice the mind wants to wiggle away into thinking and this is natural and it's okay when you recognize this bringing the mind back with kindness gentleness back to the abdomen
breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing out. So thank you very much for watching, spending a few minutes with, with us. Remember to take care of yourself mentally as well as physically. So important, take mm -hmm. care of yourself mentally. Remember smiling, gratitude, exercise, journaling, music, meditation, all of those things all those that you, good things that all those good things that you know. <laughs> These, you know, really, really good to prioritize it. Other things are being prioritized, and we got to keep those in our psyche. Mm -hmm. Prioritize the good stuff. Remember, you can't get any virus through the phone. Call a friend, mm -hmm. talk to each other, mm -hmm. reach out in the ways that we can reach mm -hmm. out, and be well.